Well, it turns out pandemic politics cost a pretty penny to relocate the legislature. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. NBC 10 I-Team reporter Tamara Sikarsik finds out what taxpayers would pay if the legislature had to leave again. It's our latest On Your Dime investigation. Rhode Island taxpayers spent about $246,000 on technology upgrades when the legislature had to relocate. While that is double the amount spent in a typical year, it should be a one-time expense. We are prepared, unlike last year, where we had a scramble to do all this. It was an expensive scramble. Nobody saw coming. More than $900,000 in rental fees, security, and new technology was spent last fiscal year when lawmakers relocated from the State House to the Vets Auditorium in Rhode Island College. Rental fees and security costs came from federal COVID relief funds, which covered nearly $655,000 of the $900,000 bill. The rest of that money came from Rhode Island taxpayers and went toward technology upgrades. It allowed remote hearings. Uh, we, we, we purchased a lot of equipment and cameras and software that would allow us to have remote hearings uh, so people could testify at home because of the pandemic, they couldn't be here. A pricey investment that could pay off in an unpredictable pandemic. With COVID cases now rising again, have you guys discussed whether you would have to move sessions back to a different location instead of the state house? We have not talked about it. We're monitoring it very carefully. We're seeing what's happening across the country. If we ever had to go remote or at the vets, we could do so within 24 hours. We have that capability. If lawmakers do end up staying at the state house, the technology will still be used. To see what types of upgrades we're talking about, head to turn to 10.com. For the NBC Tonight team, I'm Tamara Sikarzik.